when it's better to use finish to finish or start to start when let's let's evaluate another another example okay another example that's for a construction so i don't know if you understand constructions but well i don't i personally i don't but let's say to build a wall like this one over here okay behind the whiteboard we have some wood stud that goes from top to bottom some that goes on the horizontal and another one that is vertical so we have some kind of wood frame let, let me just if you have a a wall and you have some kind of wood frame okay a wood frame in that wall So the first thing when you are building is to create a wood frame. So th those here is a wood stud, piece of wood, but here, okay? That's the way you build walls in Canada, okay? And then you come with a drywall. That, that piece is like a flat panel that you put on the top, sometimes bigger as this, and you create close the wall and you will be put some nails around this and here in the middle and you have the wall that's the construction you put the frame uh, the frame the studs and then you hang the drywall okay what's happened let's let's do a, a, an example of a situation in construction that is quite common you have you have to put the, the studs and then hang the drywall. That's the sequence. The most common way of planning that project is to use finish to start, in which you put the stud first, so you, you finish you finish the frame. If you have a house or a building or several floors, you can finish the, the, the frame. And then you start hanging the drywall. In each, in each. That's one way. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Uh, the problem here is that you may take a long time. So you may have to analyze some situations in which you uh, may consider to overlap a little bit. Like say, if uh, the worker finished the, the frame in one floor or in one room, you can put the guys to hang in the drywall. You can finish the drywall and give some once you finish a certain segment or certain part of the construction you can start hanging the drywall you can finish the the, the frame and hanging the, the drywall that's one way of doing use to start to start or or you can do something different you can project that you'll be finishing you'll be finishing the the, the, the frame in a certain day you'll be finishing the, the the frame in a certain date and from that date you say oh, after that i can comp conclude the uh, drywall uh, after a time a lag time so we have two situations uh, i can use start to start to overlap task or finish to finish to overlap task the first one i create the relationship on the starting times and i can compute the times the second alternative i create a relationship in the finishing time and then i can compute times and the question is when should i use one or another when and here is the trick you have to understand the execution pace of each activity the execution pace of each activity so let's suppose that you have two activity if green is is lower than blue if you put a leg at the beginning you, you you know that that activity doesn't matter what will finish after the first one but if that if i have a situation in which uh in which the second activity is faster faster and that is very problematic that's very problematic because let's suppose that hanging a drywall is faster probably it is then build the frame what's happened in a certain moment if you don't have a uh, you don't compute things well or if there is any delay in the uh, frame 
construction. You may end up with the guys with drywall waiting for the frame. And it's a mess. So, and that doesn't work. So when the second activity is faster, we don't use start to start. We use finish to finish. Because in that situation, uh, you, 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 you calculate the starting time based on the finish date of the activity. And that's avoid you have some kind of people holding the drywall waiting for the frame. So, and, and that's a situation. So usually the thinking process for that is to, uh, if the su succeeding activity is slower, usually start to start is a good way to overlap activity. But if the second activity is faster, the sec su su succeeding activity is faster, it's better to use pinch to finish.